Okan, Sri Mati Kan, Honorable Minister of Commerce and Industry, Honorable Members of Parliament, and friends. I am inadequately equipped to address a group in a country about which I know so little. I've always had difficulty in admitting to friends, particularly Chinese friends, that I have never visited China. Anyway, somewhere the God Almighty registered that point, so I have come to visit China now, <laughs> at this right old age. <laughs> uh, this uh, visit is really a comprehension of two visits in one. But that doesn't make it any less. Sometime last year, I was invited by the then Vice President of China to pay a bilateral visit to, India, to China. That didn't, the dates didn't quite work out on both sides, so that visit remained unfulfilled. And then, of course, our two governments decided to join hands with Myanmar to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the historic proclamation of the principles of Panchi. So two occasions combined in one, but two, as far as I can see, equally important. I'm delighted to hear from Ambassador Khan, that the number of the Indian community here has gone up from 200 to 40 or 1,000 or more. Now, this is something that uh, my wife and I have experienced in different corners of the world in the course of our travels. In far off, there is no place where you would not find an Indian community a purposeful Indian community, a successful Indian community, a community which is contributing both to the functioning of the local societies and to its relations with India. And this is not surprising because every seventh person in the world, if I am right, happens to be an Indian. So from New Zealand to the west coast of the United States, from the points nearest the South Pole to the points nearest the North Pole and every spot in between, there would be an Indian and an Indian who is doing good to the local communities and therefore upholding <coughs> the name of India. And for this reason, I have not only to congratulate you for your own respective contributions, but I have also to thank you on behalf of the country, on behalf of the government, for the good work that you are doing and the helping hand you are giving to India and the government of India in creating a more cooperative world a world in which India's profile is continuously rising, a world in which India and Indians are being increasingly welcomed. I am very confident that, and I say this without knowing enough about you, but I understand from Ambassador that uh, over 50 Indian companies are already working in China. 10,000 students, a community of 40,000. This is the beginning of a much wider engagement which we in India look forward to because it is a well-accepted fact that while you can choose friends, you cannot choose neighbors. China and India are neighbors have been neighbors since the beginning of time. 
and will continue to be neighbors as far as one can see. So, there are only two ways of living with neighbors. There is a wise way and there is an unwise way. I think we in India are very clear about it. We opt for the wise way. And from what I hear, what I have heard in the last two days, and what I have read about, I think this sentiment is reciprocated by everyone amongst the government and people of China. <laughs> we have an old relationship. We have a civilizational link. We are not strangers in each other's societies. This is the strongest point that we have. We have contributed to it from both sides. Great servants, travelers, monks have traveled across high mountains to bring messages which are messages of wisdom, peace. And that is the road on which we in this generation at this point of time, with all the advantages which science and technology give us, we want to travel. The purpose of my visit is precisely that. That is the focus of our discussions. We are looking for ways on both sides to further our engagement in all fields in which we discover a commonality of interest, whether it is education, whether it is business, whether it is scientific technology, cultural fields, of course, primarily. So I think with your help, we will succeed. And I wish you all a very, very happy stay here. Thank you very much.